Hello people, how are you today? I hope you are all having an amazing day and you are ready to watch another video from Free Code Camp New Challenges. If you are new to my channel, my name is Eleftheria and I'm currently doing some challenges from Free Code Camp. In my previous videos, the past few days, I've been doing the CSS Flexbox and I did all of them and I have them on my playlist. I will leave in the description box a link if you want to watch it. But today I'm going to start using the CSS Grid. I don't know a lot of things about CSS Grid, whereas in the Flexbox I already had some knowledge. So this will be my first time. Um, I'm going to show you my solutions. Maybe there are other solutions too. I don't know if it's a unique answer or not. But if you have um, any question, just leave me a comment and I will do my best to answer it. So yes, without further ado, let's just start. CSS Grid. Well, create your first CSS Grid. Alright, let's do this. Turn any HTML element into a grid container by setting its display property to grid. This gives you the ability to use all the other properties associated with CSS grid. Cool. Note, in CSS grid, the parent element is referred to as the container and its children are called items. Nice little info there. So it says that change the display of the div with the container class to grid. So I just need grid. And here I'm going to have a display. Oops, display and grid. Okay, the style here, I think it's a bit different than uh, the Flexbox. I think that I prefer this one, because in the Flexbox it was... They almost gave you the answer, but here, I mean, it's only the first one, but you have to think a little bit more. I don't know, maybe it's better, but uh, yes, we will see. So that was my first simple answer, just uh, display grid, and that was it. So now I have add columns with grid template columns. Simply creating a grid element doesn't get you very far. You need to define the structure of the grid as well. To add some columns to the grid, use the grid template columns property on a grid container as demonstrated below. So you have an example with a class container, a display grid and a grid template columns with 50 pixel each. This will give you grid two columns that are 50 uh, pixels wide each. The number of parameters given to the grid template columns property indicates the number of columns in the grid, and the value of its parameter indicates the width of its column. So far, so good. So what do we have to do? It says gives the grid container three columns that are 100 pixel wide each. Okay, I'm going to use the grid template columns in here and inside there I'm going to have um, 100 pixels three times and a column and click on run the test, submit and go. Yes, we were correct. Yes, I like when I'm correct. So let's continue with the grid template rows. The grid you created in the last challenge will set the number of rows automatically. To adjust the rows manually, use the grid template rows property in the same way you use grid template columns in previous challenge. Add two rows to the grid that are 50 pixel tall each. So let's use the grid template rows. Alrighty. And this time we're going to have 50 pixels to times and just run the test. Oh yes. We can see the result either in the right part of the screen or in the bottom part. So yes, I like that with free code cam that you have uh, this kind of view. Sometimes this view reminds me also of Code Academy. They have similar views, similar screens. But it's okay, I like it. Um, anyway, let's continue with 
Use CSS grid units to change the size of columns and rows. Alright, you can use absolute and relative units like pixel and em in CSS grid to define the size of rows and columns. You can use this as well if R sets the column of row of to a fraction of the available space. Auto sets the column or row to the width or height of its content automatically. Percent that um, adjusts the column or row to the percent width of its container. And let's see an example, grid template columns. It has uh, quite different values. Um, but yeah, let's see what do we have to do. Make, make a grid with three columns whose widths are as follows, one fraction, 100 pixels, and two fractions. Okay, so I'm going to use the, the grid with the columns. Uh, let's give it here. But this time I'm going to have one fr, 100 pixels, and two fr column. And let's see if that's correct. Oh, yes. Nice. All right, so let's continue with the next one. Create a column gap using read column gap. So I guess this is something about gap. Uh, so far in the grid you have created, the columns have all been tied up against each other. Sometimes you want a gap in between the columns. To add a gap between the columns, use the grid column gap. Okay, I'm just going to copy this. And grid column gap to pixels. We have to do the same thing, but for two empty pixels. And let's see if that's correct. And yes, we have this gap here. Maybe the next one is about, uh, yes, like the space in the rows. So let's just grab this one, grid row gap. I'm going to add it here. And we will have to add just five pixels and you can view here this space so the previous one was uh vertically whereas this one is horizontally all righty uh let's do one more add gaps faster with grid gap okay so i'm going to use the grid gap I'm going to add it in here and it says to introduce a 10 pixel gap between the rows and 20 pixel gap between the columns. So the first value is going to be the 10 pixels, whereas the second value is going to be the 20 pixels. And I guess that you can view again here the result. That's it. Oops, no container class to have. Oh, yeah, sorry, forgot that. <laughs> um, Yes, now I can say that that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, please, please, please share and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video where we're going to continue with the CSS grid from Freecode Camp. Bye!